All right, we are starting our day. Noisy truck, hang on. Right now we are in Myrtle Creek. It show the beginning of our day. Cause it's pretty, pretty similar to the other ones. Get a waffle from the waffle maker. Get some milk or some juice. Pack up the hotel room and get in the car. So, are you gonna go to the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just stretching my legs. I don't need to go to the bathroom. Probably dehydrated extremely. But Jason is in with Chelsea and Ashley. This cute little town of Myrtle Creek, Oregon. We're going through a lot of little towns around here. Ah, oh, that's cute. There's a barn quilt. Let me go show you this. This is an actual barn quilt. It's not on a barn, I should say. But I'm gonna walk up here. Kaylee's in the car. Okay. We're gonna walk up here, stretch my leg. Oh, this is so cute. This town is kind of cute. Let me show you. Cute little yard. So cute. And then I'm gonna go over there to that little barn quilt on the wall. I know it's nothing new. It's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight I'm gonna put this on record. What? Heidi's on your side for making you sit back there. She's like, you should let Jason sit back in the front seat. But I want to sit here, so. <laughs> so your needs come first. My needs come first. Yes. I'm fine. I'm hanging out with the girls. I am too. I'm just one seat uh -huh. away. Yeah. Uh -huh. Until you sit back there. You can say that once you sit there. You're not really hanging out with them. You're just sitting there, Jace. I don't know. I kept them with closed hands. Kept them normal. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting here in the front seat editing. I've gone through two videos. I'm working on my third one. Um, I'm proud of you. You didn't uh, do one of your, I'm just going to be eyes closed for three hours. You did good. You stayed awake. Yeah, because a <laughs> semi truck honk, woke me up. Okay. That was only like two yeah. minutes after closing my eyes. Yeah. Nope, we're gonna stop soon. We're gonna, I think it's Albany, Oregon. We're gonna get gas at Costco because it's gonna be the cheapest. We're finally down into the $4 mark for gas. We've gotten up into the $7 range, which was insane. We only put like, what, two gallons in when it was that price? Yeah. Just Try to just limit what we put in at that price. Um, hang on, there's still cars. Slow down. Um, but we're getting back into our lower rates um, here in Oregon and hopefully even lower in Washington. So we're gonna get gas, food, go to the bathroom. Right, Ashley? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Buckle up. She leaned forward to grab something. Can you turn around and buckle up again? And then uh, hopefully she doesn't drink too much because she's the reason we stop and pee so much. I have been to okay, the only person who Sit does, down and buckle up. The only person who has to go to the bathroom is Chelsea. And Chelsea, uh, Chelsea has asked one time on this drive today. And that's the only thing we have on this drive. And you. Yeah, that's the only and stop you. we made. No. was in Myrtle. Myrtle, what was it called? Myrtle. I don't know. Alright, just for the fun of it, we have this traffic. Can you see the red line? Yeah, it goes for a little ways. I gotta give Jason directions really quick. We're gonna hop through Chehalis right now. We're gonna turn right. Okay. You're gonna stay on this, Jace, and then turn. We're gonna go through Chehalis, and we're gonna try and beat that EPS trust. Cool. That's what we're trying to beat. Yeah. As soon as we're on a main road, I think we're gonna be able to go north. Probably hit a bunch of lights. Well, who's pessimistic now? <laughs> You're all out. Two seconds ago, you were optimistic, and well, let's go. You know, and the I, second you yeah, I'm I know your true you. character is pessimistic. No, no, I'm not pessimistic. 
No, not at all. We'll see, we'll see. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. I think we've hit a fair or something in town. So we're just gonna hit all the side streets. <laughs> see if we can make this work. That's a purple house. Purple. All right. Stop signs on every corner. We're gonna blow through a couple of these. <laughs> California, California stops. <laughs> yep, got another one. Can't see it because of the trees. Oh, there it is. Got a blue house now. Maybe you should find every color in the rainbow. There's red, right there. There's a yellow back there, but not very much. We got the full rainbow going on up there. There's a train. That scared the crap out of us when it first went by. These people are all doing the same thing. You know that minivan does not live here. <laughs> he has a freak, neither does he. That's nope, from he's from Washington. You know these people are all doing we're, the same thing we are. No, I know, but like, he's got a little, they're like racing the, down the street, just like we are. Okay, we're so we're- We're gonna go up and we're gonna whip you and come back. It'll be faster than this guy trying to be- All right, right here. here's the end of city of Chehalis right there. But every single one of these people are doing the same thing. You can just tell. That one's from Oregon. Yeah, they're all doing the same thing, trying to get on the highway right here. We're gonna whip a little Yui. Okay, and we've seen two cars do a Yui right where we just did it. So I think we're gonna get on the highway a little bit faster. But the test is if we pass the UPS truck. Let's get back on the highway. We have avoided all of that stop traffic. That whole line. That only took us a few minutes, so I think it did save us a lot of time. It was fun. Yeah. It was more fun than sitting in traffic. Yeah. Okay, the thing is, we were back look, behind it a ways. Look at this. Here's so we the UPS truck so right we're, there. We're, we're like pretty close. I don't know if it saved us any time, but that was fun. That was way more fun. And it <laughs> may, we maybe got like four cars ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we go back to ignoring each other. <laughs> well, I saw a hotel was like super cool slide thing. I think hotels and pools are not as fun, especially for the older girls, because they don't like to go to the pool as much. Yeah. So it's about the little stops that we can like stop and see and have memories. Yeah, it is. We're literally like an hour oh, away from home. there's that Mitsubishi thing that we were behind like a little while ago. Yeah, Which one? The one directly in front of us. Right there? Yeah. Alrighty. You won't be seeing us in the car for a while. Oh, we are home. That took us an extra two and a half hours with all that extra traffic. We got. I stopped filming a long time ago. We're glad to be home. We're going to take you on the journey of what it takes to undo a car. Of being in a car. For almost a week. Because <laughs> we basically lived out of the car every single day we are going somewhere different. And this was our first time ever trying anything like this. So we learned a lot. We learned a lot. We need a cooler next time. Like what? And take fresh food. And we need to well, need shorten the days food. and have fun little... Fun okay. little <laughs> Should we get a toilet for Ashley? Yes. 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 We need or we need to squat. teach her how to squat over a cup. Thing, the, the hitch toilet? Yeah. A hitch toilet. Yes. I, I am not opposed to the hitch toilet idea. She got stage fright the only time she got out to squat in the bush. Yes. That was the time the car had a sensor light and we pulled over. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Need to teach that girl to pee on the side of the road. I am a pro at that. Hey, your older <laughs> sister did it when she was younger than you. That sucks. <laughs> we had the little Dora potty. She did it on the side of the road. It was amazing. She wasn't happy about it, but she did it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to give you a real shot. We have only taken our stuff stuff out. And I'll show you all the kind of junky that's left in the car. Oh, we already had to dump out, pull out the, uh, they dropped all those chips. Oh, we dropped a can of Pringles, so all the crumbs. So did you already vacuum that? No. Couldn't get the vacuum out because they spilled syrupy stuff all over so the zipper wouldn't work. Yeah. I didn't know that. So I couldn't use the vacuum, so I just pulled the mat out, kept it the best I could, and I dumped, dumped it out it. in Reno. Okay, so this is a, a pretty good shot of what it looks like. We've got one drink left. I've taken in my water. We Here's your we Subway. We count how many drinks we go through. I know. That's what we need to do. <laughs> Subway put in the fridge. That goes inside. Then we had our Mechlazine at hand. 
leftover Chick-fil-A sauce, my poor turtle. He's lost all his sticky and he's falling apart. I need a new one. If anyone wants to send one of these in my P.O. box, it's down below. Target sells these, it's a car freshener, but they have not sold it since I got this one. And I got it years ago and I just haven't found one again. Or if you go to Hawaii, this is actually like Bahama something, but anyway. Okay, so here, this is my seat. I don't make messes, so it's pretty clean. <laughs> Then we'll look around here. This is, they haven't done anything. They haven't cleaned anything out. So we'll give you a pretty true, honest look. So we've got some garbage here. They, Chelsea was very big on keeping things clean back here. She was doing that a lot. Ashley took this corner quite a bit. Tissues were kind of a thing. They had runny noses. So not too bad on the crumb situation back here. This is Ashley's wallet and her AirPods. So not too bad on garbage. Okay, in the door up for the middle people, we have a banana. Didn't get eaten from this morning from our little breakfast. Only two little things of garbage here. One here. Sanitizer down here. And an extra garbage bag right there. So not too bad. Then back here, the only things left are our two boxes of food. We did not anticipate bringing food home with us. That was kind of a surprise, but it was because we didn't end up staying. So like this whole bag of chips would have been gone within days of being at my dad's house, but we just didn't use it because we left. So we got medicine, we got breakfast drinks we got. We thought we would use those the whole time we were there. Didn't end up using them. I took two COVID tests with us. Dad would have finished that had he known about that. And one flip-flop. I had blueberry oh, I things. Saw that. I saw that. Yeah. So we got that box and then this one. Whoops. Put that in there. Oh, there's two yellow shoes, but only one flip-flop. Jason, if you can find the other flip-flop. This one has... Yeah, we really haven't looked at it since we left. We've used the granola bars from another the other box already. Then the pancake mix would have gotten used again had we stayed. I was going to use the root beer extract to make root beer had we stayed. So, and then my sister, if you remember when I went to my sister's for our birthday, she gave me this pan and the evaporated milk and the marshmallow fluff for my birthday and for Christmas. This is a candy pan. It's an aluminum pan. She never gave it to me because I couldn't get it onto the plane. So I brought that home. So we'll just take all this stuff in. And then this bag is the sweatshirts and stuff that we bought in Bear Lake. All right, I'm the anal one who cleans out the car when I get home. But Jason's the one who said, let's just vacuum it out and be done with it. So I'm not alone in that. Got my towel. We're gonna wipe the whole thing down. officially detailed the whole car. I have wiped down every single surface, front and back, top to bottom. We pulled out every single mat, um, vacuumed it. I've even wiped the back mat. I have wiped the whole inner edge of the car, like all in here, so that when I wash the car, this is clean and this is clean. So if you don't clean right here, you get your, car, your clothes dirty when you kind of slide into the car. This outer edge, I could actually grab the towel and do it one more time across the very bottom part right there. But I would say it looks pretty good. The back is all clean. Looks really good. The very back is all clean. Put the headrest up. Then in the front seat, this area is all cleaned out. While we were driving, I organized down in here. Yes, we have barf bags. Now we have Meclizine. So we don't have to worry about barf bags as much, but it's nice knowing it's there in case anyone gets actual sick. So we've got the little car top. I can take my little power cord and tuck it down here. That's just for daily use. Oh, actually, 
I could wash it out. And then do this little section right here. Can you hand me the towel, Jace? Otherwise, this is all done up here. Put this back over, actually it goes up here for me to use up there. Also, when I was cleaning the car out along the way, I found this little clip. Clips under there and magnetizes my phone and I can click it there if I just want to have it up where I can see it for like directions or whatever. I don't mind using that, but sometimes when I'm Marco Poloing my sister, I want it to not be so floppy. So I'm going to use that. All right, so we're going to show you. We actually haven't looked inside here. He has because he climbs up, but he is filled with There's just sand and dust and sand. So He's going to dump it out. And now we begin laundry. We haven't been able to do laundry for a couple days. We only did one load at my dad's. So I have a lot of laundry and it's buried in suitcases too. Now we have to put everything away. This is all, oh, hallelujah, it's all shoes and his hiking bag. So I can literally just go put it up here and have everyone take their shoes and put them away. Also, just so you make sure that you don't, you know, put us on a higher pedestal than we need to be. <laughs> this is the metal. This is the mess that we have going on right now. All that came out of that bag. But not even empty. Nope. This all came out of the car after two attempts at cleaning the car out. So there's a whole bunch to put away. I haven't even started on any of the bags. This is my car bag. I've got to empty all that out and get it back to a beach bag. Ashley has a bag, Jason's work bag, my computer bag, my electronic bag. I'm just going to put that in here all day tomorrow. I have to edit. Okay, really quick, the clothing bag. I'm going to take Chelsea and Ashley's in here. I'm going to double check that everything is clean that's left in here. And I have their hangers here. Ashley needs to bring me hers. It's easier to hang their stuff here. But me and Jason don't have any hangers down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all of our little pods and chuck them upstairs. I know that my stuff is all clean that's left in here. So I'm going to chuck them upstairs. Please. Oh. Thank you. I also, I'll show you what I got in Bear Lake. I got the same little sweatshirt as the other two. Abby got one in a lighter green, but I got a Wake Lake Shake shirt as well. I wish mine had the actual cutouts of the shapes. Mine have white in the middle of them, but I still think it's kind of cute. And then I guess when I was going to the bathroom in Reno, when the girls were shopping, Jason bought a tie at Forever 21 for four bucks. So he was kind of excited. He just found that on his own and wanted to buy it. And I only say that because he doesn't buy clothes on his own. <laughs> he just doesn't. He doesn't like to spend money on himself. Okay, we're going to end our night with a little sunset. What can we see? A little bit. Um, can't really get you to focus in too much. We saw a little bit of a glow out here, so we decided to come and check it out. I had a certain Evelyn in charge of my plants. And I'm thinking she doesn't get the Kit Kat. That yeah. I told her I would pay her. I think we should just throw those They're bad boys to be like... away. Are you happy to be home? Yeah, very happy. Okay, say goodnight to everyone. Good night. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.